Doesn't look like much right now. As you walk down the hallway, you'll turn the corner. Eventually, you'll open up the refrigerator, and you'll wind up in another world. How would you describe Meow Wolf, and how do you fit into the art scene? Meow Wolf is a venue for artists who felt like they were on the outside of the art market in Santa Fe looking in. The scene for artists who are trying to do something different or weird just didn't really exist. We were Santa Fe's orphans of neglect. We don't know what we're doing and we don't care. It's time for us to just be an agitator. The art world needs to get shaken up a little bit. We didn't want rules. We didn't want hierarchy. <laughs> we had no money. We started like pulling stuff out of dumpsters. I was zip tying trash together and fixing it to the wall. What kind of people is this gonna draw? All the types of weirdos. All the good and bad weirdos. For us, it was just this creative explosion. Are we creating something that people are actually going to like? Not a single person got paid. We did this for years. There are 10 of us living in one tiny little room because all the money's going to the art. There's not even much money for that. I mean, it was insane. It was too much. How long can I do this for? How can we make Meow Wolf sustainable? We need a building. We need like millions of dollars. Where are we going to get that? The idea of the person that could buy this for us being George Martin was really silly. It was like, please take a chance on us. Nobody else is going to. OK, I'll, I'll buy the bowling alley. It's incredible. Other dimensions, other times, a secret story. He was just pushing all my buttons was just like burning down some old system and having like a hyper phoenix of what art can be rising out of the ashes. Not only is this crazy, but it's possible. We have to support those who feel like they're on the outside looking in because that's how we were. That's where this is a success or a failure.